On the Saturday across the nation, thousands of protesters took to the streets in a march against gun violence. March for Our Lives is in response to the shooting that killed 17 at a high school in Parkland, Florida last month. In the upstate, students organized their own march in downtown Greenville. Tobias Rodriguez spoke to both sides of this national debate. The world is supporting the American children when we say never again. With the megaphone and signs in hand, upstate students sent a message to lawmakers. Stop the silence and gun violence. Stop the silence and gun violence. Protesters say it's no longer a shock when children are killed in their classrooms. One of the youngest protesters says he is marching to fight his fear. It makes me not want to go to school, and that's not something I want. Counter protesters line downtown streets fighting to protect the Second Amendment. They say armed trained teachers, but don't take our guns. We want to keep our children safe, but having gun bans is not the way to do that. And what do our politicians offer? Thoughts and prayers! Student organizers say now they are creating change on their own. This is what democracy looks like. This is what democracy looks like. The government exists to protect our rights, not to disarm us. Sally Eastman says it is her God given right to bear arms. Others say something has to be done to end the violence. It's not about us trying to take people's rights away, it's about all these deaths. I'm more concerned with children dying. In downtown Greenville, Tobias Rodriguez. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Seven News. Greenville police say an estimated 2,000 people marched today. There were no arrests.